Saturday blessings, you guys. So, um, I did say that I was going to come and make a summer solstice video, but I haven't gotten around to it because yesterday I had some stuff come up that I really had to process, pro push through, you know, and um, basically, let me tell you about it. So, I had this dream, what was it, Thursday night, Thursday, like, in throughout the morning time. Okay, so, I dream a lot. If y'all dream, make sure y'all writing these things down, okay, because they gone, dreams for me, it's my guide to life, okay, showing me where I'm stuck at, where, where my fear's at, where um, I'm not seeing things clearly at, you know, or perhaps sometimes what's to come. I just felt a raindrop on my eye. I wonder if it's about to rain. But um basically uh, in the dream I was in this gym and I had put my I put had a bag and I put the bag down on the gym on the gym on the bleachers in the gym a bench in the gym okay so putting this the stuff down I walk to I don't know all of a sudden the scene just changed i end up in the kitchen of this woman who's uh, i used to be learning from studying under and so <clears throat> in that in the dream um me and some other people were sitting like at her kitchen bar or whatever because that is what uh we were in her kitchen and so she was sitting there talking to us and everything like that and um she had this cigar she was smoking on so when she had put it down in the ashtray uh she i think she walked away or something and i had picked it up and i i smoked it and when i smoked it it bloomed uh blossom into this flower but the smoke you know how a flower shrivels up in a sense once you put heat to it well it did that sort of but more so in the like of if you've ever seen a rose of jericho go dry that's how it did it closed it closed up like that so with that so a little bit before that she um had these um what was it these oracle cards on the kitchen counter on the bar and i had picked them up and started looking at them and they had like different quotes and stuff on them but i can't remember now what they were saying but you know at the dream it was very clear and um so when i came up out of it out of the um i ended up let me remember okay so she was like oh i used to have so many of those those cards those in tarot cards and i looked at her and i was like i know i bought some i bought some of them from you and well i had like this attitude or something when i said it like i was just not feeling it not feeling her for real and so then her husband walks in and it's like he was coming in from work and all of a sudden my husband's in the dream and he's like Ugh. like <laughs> That's a long story within itself of his response and reaction to that. But to the point, afterwards, um, I leave out and I come out. And what I realize is like I'm coming out like this ceiling or something like or of these bleachers in the gym still. And the bleachers were... Um, they were closed though they weren't open bleachers that people could climb up so i had to like climb down <clears throat> the bleachers in order to really get into them get out of them and so when i'm walking out one of my best friends she comes walking up to me and she's like girl mind y'all she is scorpio all right if you in Seattle, go check out the uh, Joyful Body Works, okay? Because she going to work you out. So, a little small plug there. But we were 
um, in the gym and she's talking to me. She's like, where's your phone? She's like, where your stuff at? And I'm like, what? And I was like, um, I thought I had it. I was like, well, I left my bag over there on the bleacher. And so on the bench. And so she's like, okay, well, you need to find your phone. So I'm like, okay. So I start opening up the app, find my iPhone in my hand and then look down and realize, oh, my phone is right here in my hand. I have my phone. And so after that, um, after that happened, I ended up going to, we started looking for my bag and my bag had got moved, but, um, it was like, it was open. Like somebody was rummaging through it or whatever, trying to see what it is that I had in there. And in that, they basically, they didn't find anything, you know, but, um, she was just saying how that I need to, she kept telling me how I need to make sure I had my phone because all my stuff is in there. Granted, in real life, she knows that I take a lot of notes and stuff in my phone and uh, a lot of information that I be looking up and stuff that I be coming to and everything like that. So with that, um, she, it was this other woman sitting on the bench that my bag was on i've never seen this woman before i don't know who y'all can see all my stuff in my background lord um i've never seen her before never met her before in my life or anything like that but it's almost as if now i think about it um it's kind of like she was protecting my my belongings so later on that day once i woke up my friend Imani, she actually texted me. She reached out to me and she's like, girl, what you doing? Let me show you something. And so she sent me this video she had made or whatever. And so now I was like, you was in my dream last night. And she's like, what, what happened? You know, you know, we all have those. We have one friend that uh, that is something for us, right? Really, all our friends are something for us. And if I really need to like get down to the bottom of something or if i need somebody to ask me the right questions kind of thing she's the person that i'm going to you know because she in nature she is naturally curious and she is scorpio all right it, she's all water energy so she's gonna get to the depth of it because you know it's simply out of her curiosity she's gonna have the questions that uh are gonna make you go hmm that's a good question let me see so we ended up talking for like two hours i'm telling her about the dream and all kind of stuff so let me stop this because this is getting long so i end up pulling a bunch of cards and you know asking questions and seeing um you know what it is that we can't see right uh getting a little bit more insight from spirit and the divine and um you know going there with it and so this had a lot to do with um me coming into and being in my own personal authority and agency right and really just um acknowledging me for me for real you know because but also seeing the things it is that i have been holding on to from what I learned from them. And what kept coming up was the Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles had came up and the Emperor card. So for one, the Emperor card will be a representation of me. Emperor is Aries energy, I'm an Aries. So a little backstory. When I was in this group, I would always be you know, leaving. Uh, I have a hard time with, I don't want to say I have a hard time. It's easy for me to see when, uh, when something doesn't work for me. But if I'm, if you convince me enough, I'm going to continue. My curiosity is going to continue to lead me to this space of, well, let me see what this is. Let me see what I can learn here. Maybe there's something here for me. And then to the point, it got to the point to where I was, well, I'm not going to be able to succeed if I don't have this information. Because the way that she set stuff up, the way that they set stuff up within 
the school, you know, they had it to where um, they were saying things like, uh, uh, this was farther down the line of when you are basically learning something like we were in these groups right and we were doing the coursework in groups and so we would go back into the online group and share our thoughts and our findings and the only way that we would be right right the only way that we would be right about what something meant was if she said okay to it right so what this does is it automatically blocks you negates you from trusting your own inner voice i don't like that shit i'm like like because the in the work it is that i do um although i'm sharing something that is very uh known and can support a collective means everything is done by your own means like i i, I talk a lot about a need to trust oneself it's these dogs right here on this path that I'm walking where's they owner like whatever so so that naturally goes against who me who I am as a person right as a as a I guess a teacher even okay so basically uh -uh, I'm not your owner you come let's look at this I can't turn this camera These dogs been playing in the water. They must have been in the lake swimming. Uh, it's facing me. That's the lake. It seems that they were swimming in there. Or maybe they were in this little whatever they've built here. You see that? Okay, anyway, so. Yeah, what was that? So outside of that, they also didn't want us like reading any kind of books for real it was like they had us cut off our own personal interpretation of for real anything honestly um and i've been away from there for like two years now um no three years now but with the type of work they did it delves a lot into the subconscious mind you know um and when that's why it's so important to be careful of the people that you're connecting with and working with especially when it comes to like these group think kind of schools of thought and things like that because what they are in attempt to do is get into your subconscious mind because once something is living in the subconscious it becomes a natural thing and what we were doing was feminine work and the feminine is the subconscious okay so when you're constantly activating this and, and putting thought forms in this and saying that it is this way over and over and over again it becomes you truly it becomes you so it wasn't until yesterday that i realized that these things were still operating within my constructs of my mind you know and it also speaks a lot to why it's important to um this doberman y'all every every day every day these dogs um you know it speaks a lot to hold on <laughs> so it speaks a lot to why it's so important to trust one's self in what it is that's coming to you like we really have to strengthen that muscle of our instincts our intuition and really be able to recognize that our guiding light all right our guiding post it, it sits within us there's no no one who can really tell us what is right or wrong for us granted there are sometimes when we do need help like sometimes we need help sometimes we need the right questions asked to us right but not in a way that is trying to convince us of what it is that is being taught by someone else you know and 
Um, so I had to really sit with all of this and see where it is within my life that this has manifested. And it came up, I recently, I made that video the other day talking about how, uh, about my work-life balance, right? And where within that, um, I seen that a lot of my work-life balance was still stuck in that paradigm, right? Uh, in this feminine way of going about doing things, operating uh, a fulfillment of life and not fulfillment in the means of enjoyment, but like uh, carrying out something like say, for instance, uh, you have to fulfill an order kind of thing. So with all of that, hold on. Okay. So with all of that, what I seen was that a lot of way that I, a lot of ways that I've been going about just living in general is still really within that paradigm. I think I said that in that last clip, but basically all those teachings, they really, uh, or just that environment in general, it, I don't want to say it stripped me from, but it had me suppress a lot of ways of myself but let me turn this around because the ducks are gone but it had me in this space really of so let me just okay so when it comes astrologically this is why i feel like it's important to know ourselves in that from an astrological basis but when it comes astrologically i have three planets in aries in the house of sagittarius right and then i have a leo rising and my son is in a exalted position which can you know manifest one way or the other because there is a you know everything's on that masculine and feminine spectrum so with that it basically oh and then i have four planets in capricorn um and they are in a in the house of Virgo. One of them's in the house of Leo, but it's still, it's on the edge, the cusp. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> so with this, I have a lot of sustainability within myself. I have a lot of energy within myself and my ability to be able to carry something out, to get some, get things done, to make things happen, to do things in the way that I want to do them. Um, and carry that out but these thoughts these ideas of oh do this this way do this this way this will benefit you the best you know tapping into this energetic aspect of yourself but one thing that it did was strip a lot of the um multifacetedness of what a feminine energy is femininity within itself or, how that expresses itself, what that looks like, um, you know, how that can manifest even and how it supports you as well, you know. So it's just me really recognizing where my wiring has been off when it comes to doing things in my life. Because when you think about something in a certain way, it manifests through your body. Right, and your how it is that you operate, how you move, it begins to change, it begins to shift. Um, whether that or is more or less, you know, uh, people who exercise who really want to lose weight, you know, who really want to, um, what's the word, tone up and uh, build their body up, they think in a certain way, and in thinking a certain way it allows them to be able to make that happen. It allows them to be able to um, 
manifest this within their body because not only are their uh not only is their actions aligned with their desired goal but so is their mind all right so when the mind is off <laughs> everything is off everything is off um right it's like the heart and the head connection basically so if your your brain especially your subconscious mind your feeling mind if it's because that's what dictates everything that's what draws everything to us that is what um makes everything go how it goes when we're feeling blocked up uh feeling crossed up and not being able to make anything happen there may be something embedded within the subconscious mind that is stopping us from being able to attain that thing out of the fact that we uh are thinking in a certain way that we don't necessarily understand or recognize that we're thinking in so The subconscious mind is ruled by the 12th house and my 12th house is cancer so although cancers are ruled by the crabs and they live more on land than anything else it is still water-based so i absorb things subconsciously very easily and it kind of just really hangs out there the 12th house is ruled by pisces okay so with that you know literally anything can feel at home there that's one thing i think people don't really talk about with pisces pisces can feel at home anywhere and that is because they have the ability to take in and absorb everything that is around them right that doesn't mean that they don't necessarily get uncomfortable but they can find a way um they can mold they can mimic they can shape shift you know <clears throat> things if we think about myths and water spirits and creatures, a lot of the times they're coming out of the water and becoming humans, right? So the same goes with uh, the archetypal energies of that, you know, of, of those water energies. Not so much Scorpio out of the fact that it's a scorpion <laughs> and um, it's gonna do what it's gonna do, how it's gonna do it. Um, it's not really it's fixed right so once it's in a certain way it is what it is until what is going on with them is uncomfortable enough to uh, force shift change something new up out of them you know okay so <clears throat> I have Scorpio in my fourth house and with Scorpio in the fourth house this is a lot of like it's easy for me to stay in one particular space all right it's easy for me to stay consistent stay devoted to something um but in reality because i spent a lot of time being in devotion to that particular work and you know i don't even need to talk about it <laughs> anymore for real uh about what it was or how it was like if you want to know I told I mentioned the YouTube video that I have uh, in my video. All right, this is gonna be a upright video, not a full screen one. So, um, but I can still put it up here so that y'all can check that out if you like. So, whew. That was a long walk. I just seen this couple riding their bikes. They were cycling. Cycling is some serious stuff, y'all. Um, I started cycling like two weeks ago. <clears throat> Not outdoor cycling, it's indoors. And that shit is intense. Like, it's intense. It's really intense. I was just like, oh my goodness. I haven't like ridden any kind of bike or anything like that in years. And I forgot all the things that it does to the entire body like it doesn't just it's not just of the legs like it's an entire body workout so yeah so I spent yesterday that's what I spent yesterday doing moving through those things um you know acknowledging and accepting that I have been moving from those spaces and that's why uh my timing 
of sorts has been off, you know, because, oh, you know, going with the flow and <laughs> all those things, which like if going with the flow is a person, you know, so it's just, um, like I said, recognizing, accepting these things and moving forward in a new direction in, in my own way. It's funny because the chariot card had came up um, <clears throat> with that. And the chariot card basically, as far as like releasing things. And I wrote myself some affirmations, um, affirmation to read every day as far as releasing things in reference to not necessarily just that, but also to just really anything that does not um, align with the time for me, you know? Um, and it speaks a lot to the work it is that I do. But it also says a lot in reference to what it is how or how it is, I should say, and feeling comfortable with what I was doing. Because like I said, a lot of it had, was okay, if we say it's not right, it's not right kind of thing, All right? So within that, it always had me questioning what I was doing, how I was going about doing it and everything like that. And um, that energy has been tied a lot to uh, my tarot my, my readings like that I do publicly more than anything because um, while I was in that that's what that's what I had decided to do like you know this is a tool this is one of the tools that I'm going to use right and within uh, my offerings you know within supporting others and realizing how those ways have affected the fulfillment the fullness of that you know but also where it's coming from in my mind how I perceive things knowingly or unknowingly right and it's more so of an unknowing kind of way so yeah um oh yeah I was talking about the chariot card so the chariot card is in the traditional deck it is a guy on a chariot with two horses, one black, one white, representing the yin and the yang, the masculine, feminine, in and out, superior, inferior, all those things. And um, he's leaving behind to go on his own journey, right? With, But he's also carrying on his back the wisdom it is that he's gained from where it is that he's coming from, right? That's why it's like the cities in the background of him and the kingdom and everything like that and in in reality right so he's moving forward on his own volition to get to the world basically because after him is the strength card which is leo energy that that uh it's interesting because the chariot card is ruled by cancer all right and that is my 12th house so um again realizing recognizing accepting and it's so interesting when we move through these kinds of things because my dreams well, <laughs> i had some wild dreams like some old people that i haven't thought about in a long time were there um hold on but it helped me understand why certain relationships i had didn't work out um right because it wasn't for me a lot of those relationships were tied up into some form of thinking some way some type of or i should say those those people's beliefs more so than anything tied into um a group think kind of energy and although you know people believe that they are thinking in their own way a lot of times that's not the case especially oh shit when you are um what is it when you're gathering for something um like when there's a cert a set of rules uh, when there's no sense of self-empowerment where 
there is you need to do this because it's said or they said he said she said kind of thing right um this is what works because it worked for me when in reality like everything that works for you is not gonna work for somebody else like we <laughs> we all so different so unique even within our families you know like nobody is really the same like that like we relate to one another but in reality um that's not necessarily nobody fully agrees with everybody you know and that is that's on purpose <laughs> on your purpose for real on their purpose you know so oh yeah i just wanted to come and share this on my walk this morning and yeah i will be I'm not going to say what I'm going to be doing because I don't know right now. I'm about to go inside and take a shower and eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, y'all. Have a wonderful Saturday. It's a great day to do some protection work. Saturn is... If is Saturn going to hold you down, if anybody going to hold you down, it's going to be Saturn. All right? They're going to make sure they put them steel bars up. All right? <laughs> and go to war when necessary when necessary it's like capricorn and saturn gonna keep the peace until it can no longer so hey y'all have a wonderful weekend and yeah it's the summertime it's been raining here in houston i need to just stop talking and get off this video i'll talk to y'all soon bye <laughs>